Why the Internet of Things is going to change everything. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Future in Five, where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about something that I find very interesting, and that is the Internet of Things. I've touched on wearable devices and some things related to technology in the past, but today I want to specifically focus on this one area of the Internet of Things. So first, what is the Internet of Things? Well, uh, we are all familiar with, obviously, people that are connecting to the web, right? We can go online on our phones, on our computers, etc. But what happens when devices can start to go online? For example, I have this uh, this Fitbit smartwatch, the Fitbit Surge, um, which goes online. I mean, it connects to my scale, it connects to my computer, it connects to my phone. So what happens when we have many, many uh, millions or billions of these devices that come online? Like, what does that actually mean for us? Um, conservative numbers, I think Gartner uh, did a report on this recently, and they predict that there's going to be around 26 billion, with a B, devices connected by 2020. Uh, those are conservative estimates. I've seen other numbers from companies like Intel and Cisco that predict these numbers to be up in the you know, 100, 200 billion devices uh, connected by 2020. So what sort of devices are we talking about here? Well, anything. I mean, anything that literally has an on and off switch. I mean, this could be uh, uh, phones, this could be lights, these could be fitness trackers, these could be um, toasters, uh, toothbrushes, small devices, big devices. You know, I did a podcast recently with um, Rich Carpenter, who runs strategy over at uh, General Electric's Industrial Internet um, Intelligent Devices Unit. And they're connecting massive devices, jet engines, turbines, um, railroad cars, really, really huge devices. So we're going to move towards a world where everything is connected. I mean, literally everything that you can imagine is connected. So, you know, you can just look around you and just see, you know, what happens when we start to live in a world where devices start to talk to each other. What does that actually mean for us? And there are a lot of implications of what that actually means. So, you know, for me, for example, personally, I'm a big fitness and health and gadget nerd. So the Internet of Things to me means that I get a really big picture of uh, of my life. You know, how I eat, how I sleep, how I exercise, how I how I consume food, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we also start to see that as more of these devices start to get connected, our lives start to improve. Right. You know, you can pull up to your house and, you know, the automatically the the lights in your house turn on or the TV turns on or the music starts to play. I mean, those are simple, basic implications. But we also start to see uh, this moving towards things like uh, health care or towards transportation or towards management of utilities. So, for example, devices. So for, let me back up for a minute. So the Internet of Things is actually being enabled through the low cost of sensors and through connectivity. I actually did an infographic on this uh, on the Forbes blog not too long ago. But basically, any place that you can put a sensor is going to be a connected device. I mean, clothing, right? There are now devices where you can put uh, sensors in clothing, and you wear a shirt or you wear pants, and it tells you when you need to exercise, if you're gaining weight, if you're losing weight. I just saw something recently where they have uh, pajamas for babies, and uh, while the baby is sleeping, it tells you if they're sleeping in a, in a safe position or not. So literally anything that can possibly connected, uh, be connected will be connected. Uh, clothing, accessories, I mean, you name it, and it's going to be connected. So what does this actually mean, and what, what does that mean uh, as far as the direction that we're going towards? So you look at something like transportation, right? What happens when... Um, you know, companies are not able to tell traffic patterns, right? We can start to optimize, uh, you know, traffic patterns for different cities. We can start to build, um, build things that we need around traffic patterns. Uh, I mentioned healthcare. So, you know, while, while you're wearing certain devices, you can get a big picture of your health and fitness. We have these huge devices like, uh, railroads and jet engines. They're going to be able to diagnose and communicate with people that are on the ground. Um, so we start to see a really, really amazing world emerge when all these devices start to connect together. Um, look at something for energy consumption, for example. Uh, you'll be able to optimize your energy consumption or the waste that your house produces. So we're really approaching this world where um, everything is going to be connected. I mean, imagine one day you get to your house and you can operate your whole house with your voice and you start to tell it commands and ask it what to do. And everything is connected to everything. I know this is... Um, there's a lot that can be said about the Internet of Things, so I'm just kind of touching on the very, very uh, surface of what that actually means. But 
The point is we're moving towards a world where everything is going to be connected. And there are a lot of great books and resources on this topic. Uh, you can Google the Internet of Things. I'm sure you'll find some, uh, some really cool stuff on that. So that's the world that we're going towards. Everything is going to be connected. Of course, that also poses challenges, right? There are security risks. There are um, challenges with trying to understand and interpret all the data. So if everything starts to be connected with everything else, that obviously produces a lot of information. So how do we make sense of that information? How do we understand what that information is? And so I think for consumers, the Internet of Things means a lot of opportunity, a lot of convenience, a lot of improvement, a lot of uh, efficiencies, a lot of um, improved productivity, and a lot of understanding around uh, sort of the quantified self, understanding ourselves as people. For businesses, I think this means a lot of opportunity as far as creating new products, new services, um, new markets that they can penetrate. So there's going to be a lot of revenue that's going to be generated on the business side, and I think a lot of um, benefits on the consumer side. So I think this is going to be an absolutely huge trend to watch. I think it's um, very, very important, and I think it's really going to change um, everything. Right? I think it's going to completely change how we live, how we work, uh, you name it, and it's going to change it. Really curious to hear what you think about this topic of the Internet of Things. What do you think is going to happen when we get to a world where everything is connected? Your toothbrush, your toasters, the jet engine, your car, uh, your phone, your, your, you know, your fitness trackers, your wearable devices, scales that you have, right? What do you think is going to happen when we get to this world where absolutely everything is connected? Of course, nobody exactly knows what that world is going to look like because we're not there yet. Um, but there are a lot of theories and ideas being thrown around. I think it'll be a very, very exciting time, uh, but curious to hear what you think. And again, really pay attention to the Internet of Things. I think it'll be impacting um, absolutely everyone and every business around the world uh, within the next few years. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to get access to more videos, you can visit thefutureorganization.com, where you can, of course, get access to the podcast, articles, and a bunch of other cool things. And of course, if you're working for a large organization and you're interested in connecting with other companies that are exploring the future of work, you can always visit fowcommunity.com, thefutureofworkcommunity.com. So I'll see you next time on an episode of The Future in 5. Don't forget, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See you next time. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe.